Uh, welcome to this video. We want to do a short uh, comparison between the Huawei Mate 60 Pro that I have here and the Google Pixel 8 Pro. And they both feature a unique processor because we have the Kirin 9000S here on the Huawei and we have the Tensor G3 here on the Pixel phone. And both are not Qualcomm chips here, so not both top on the line, but very, very similar in terms of specifications and also in terms of speed, I would say. But we will find this out in this little test. So let's get started with the fingerprint unlock animation first and uh, yeah, the speed of unlocking. So one, two, three. And you can see that the speed is a bit quicker on the Mate 60 Pro than on the Pixel 8 Pro, but the Pixel 8 Pro also has this nice animation. Both actually have nice animations. We start off with some applications that we want to start. So first let's start YouTube, one, two, three. And we can see, I think the Pixel 8 was a little bit quicker there than the Huawei. Let's start another application, X, one, two, three. And this time I think the Huawei was a little bit quicker than the Pixel. So very neck to neck, not much of a difference there at all. Let's start uh, another application, just like for example, Reddit, one, two, three. And in this case, I think the Pixel 8 Pro was a bit quicker than the Huawei. In terms of animation speed, which one do you like better? I think the uh, Huawei is more going the iOS route where the Google Pixel is having like its own kind of thing here, which is quite interesting. Now let's perform a little benchmark with the KineMaster app and a video file that I want to render. So let's start KineMaster first. And we start off by creating a new project and then we hit import here. Import there. Okay. And then we have to import the file. It should be under downloads. So let's import the file one to three. And you can see a little bit quicker, I think, here on the Pixel 8 Pro, even though it has some advertisements there. Uh, let's turn off the volume and skip this video. There we go. And now I put them top Pixel 8 Pro on the bottom, the Huawei. Let's try to export. So we're exporting here at the highest resolution, which is 4K 60 frames per second. And uh, one, two, three. And we can see that the Pixel 8 Pro is like taking ahead the Huawei device by quite some time, even though it has some advertisement that it showed at the beginning, you will see that, uh, yes, it is almost double the speed as the Kiri 9000 uh, processing power here on KineMaster, which is quite impressive. So yes, it's always very fast on Pixel phones for some reason, even though the processor might be a little bit slower than in benchmarks. But when it comes to video processing, the Pixel is very, very fast. As you can see, he almost doubled the speed as the Huawei, which is very impressive. And the Huawei just finished now. So what do you think about this one here? So what is the conclusion of both here? Yeah, even though the benchmark scores show that the Pixel 8 is only like slightly better than the Kiri 9000S, I think in real life you really also don't see that in normal day-to-day -day tasks, starting applications, where you will see it is like in more heavy tasks like rendering video files, which is a lot quicker on the Pixel 8 Pro phone than on the Mate 60 Pro. What do you think about this result here using both phones in their stock configuration? Of course, if I go in and to turn on the performance mode on the Kirin, then video rendering might be a little bit faster, but this is usually something that you probably won't do. Uh, you're normally you just leave it as it is and then expect it to automatically go and take the higher processing power just like the Pixel 8 Pro does it as it doesn't have any performance mode here. But nevertheless, I want to show you as well a comparison with performance mode turned on on the Huawei uh, to see if it makes any difference. So now I'm going into the settings, turn on performance mode and then go back to KineMaster and start rendering again. One, two, three. 
again we have an advertisement here but i just say cancel and uh, you can see the huawei is now a little bit faster at the beginning but the google pixel is just simply still a bit faster than the kirin here neck to neck now almost as you can see which is quite interesting so the performance mode is really doing something for the huawei here but you can see it's taking up the lead again the pixel 8 pro is finishing it right now and now we have the huawei still rendering as you can see here even with performance mode turned on the tensor g3 on the pixel 8 pro and its rendering is quite a bit faster than on the huawei um, but you like i said in everyday tasks when when you're not doing video rendering heavily on your devices you will not notice that um, what we want to do as well is like a test of uh, gaming in which games load faster so if you do heavily gaming on one of them or want to do it uh, which one is better there so here we have some games i will not start all of them because genshin impact like 30 gigabytes who's so downloading 30 gigabytes on the device probably me uh, anyway we start off with the casual game first cut the rope two one two three and it appears to be a bit faster on the pixel 8 pro as you can see here but both allow us then to start up the application and uh, then the other application we want to start off is a more like heavier game called nitro nation one two three And here it appears to be a bit faster on the Huawei. As you can see there, yes, Huawei was a bit faster there. And this one says, yeah, do you want to accept? Blah, 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 accept. Let's go. And starting up the same kind of uh, way there. And uh, let's go and start up a real big game in this time. And this is Asphalt 9. So one, two, three. Or his app assistant was like interfering there for a second but uh, yeah you see that it's a bit faster here loading wise on the pixel 8 pro and actually huawei crashed for some reason so overall um yeah i cannot make it run on the huawei mate 60 pro for some reason it was working fine on the mate 50 pro and all, all the others maybe it's like some optimizations only for kirin uh, for snapdragon process and not uh, optimized for for kirin processes nevertheless uh, what you see here is the general kind of speed that you will get with those two devices and here the pixel 8 pro is clearly faster than the mate 60 pro in loading games and in video rendering every day-to-day -day tasks i think the mate 60 pro is good enough still for using web browsing and such things is no issues even starting applications sometimes the kirin is even faster than the um, tensor g3 on the pixel 8 pro uh, what do you think what is your conclusion about those two um, both were very close together in terms of benchmarks people ask me to do like a real-time speed comparison i have to say day-to-day -day usage task and usage i think i'm leaning to Towards the Huawei more maybe because it's fa fancy iOS like animations are helping here um, than the Pixel 8 Pro but I'm very surprised by how fast the Pixel 8 Pro is with video rendering where I would say uh, when it comes to video rendering maybe I would do it with the Pixel 8 Pro what is your opinion about those two phones write it down in the comment section there's everything for a short little video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye